Welcome to New Possibilities. With each new day, there are new possibilities. So for this video right here, I want to talk about this powerful story about San Francisco's first African-American woman mayor. So I'm going to read a couple of excerpts from this article and then provide my brief commentary. London Breed has officially became the first black woman to be elected as San Francisco's mayor on Wednesday. She's quoted as saying, I'm so hopeful about the future of our city. I'm looking forward to serving as your mayor, and I'm truly humbled and honored. Whether you voted for me or not, as mayor, I'll be your mayor too. The article further notes that after the sudden death last year of former San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee in December, Breed became acting mayor. The city's charter mandated that Breed take the city's top spot because she was next in the line of succession as president of San Francisco's Board of Supervisors. However, Breed was ousted and replaced it during a lively Board of Supervisors meeting by Mark Farrell, who was named the new interim mayor in a 6-3 vote after three hours of testimony, the vote had to be done twice because Supervisor Katie Tang withdrew her initial support for Farrell. So during her tenure on the board, she's been credited with being a driving force behind important positive policies like affordable health care, public housing, and, and environmental justice. Uh, some believe that her removal was based to, on racism. So um, now she's been officially elected to this position uh, as mayor of the city of San Francisco. And this article points out how this sister was raised in the projects by her grandmother and her story has inspired countless others. So this is a woman from humble beginnings who has managed to become the mayor of San Francisco. This is you know, an inspiring story about the potential of our people to overcome hard circumstances. And I hope that this sister fulfills her pledge and does positive things in San Francisco, you know, makes a difference for struggling communities. It's my understanding that San Francisco is a very expensive place to live. I hope that she continues to be um, dedicated to important issues like affordable health care. And I hope that housing becomes one of her issues as well. I hope that she pushes that issue and I hope that she makes a difference because it's not enough for us to have first black politician to hold such and such office if that politician doesn't actually make a difference in our community and in society in general. So this is a major accomplishment. You know, I commend this sister for being a trailblazer, for setting a positive example for young black women, an example for them to strive towards. Because despite some of our humble beginnings, we have the potential if we harness our energy and harness our focus and pool our resources, we have the potential to do all kinds of amazing and great things. And this is a prime example of just that. So with that, I'm going to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Please rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.